first annual ICT Wichita Brunch Fest. Ready? Go! Try the pancakes first. Get some bacon in there. Have to wait. Get some bacon in the bite. Oh, there you go. With the, with the egg. Uh, hello. That's how you do it right there, folks. That is so good. It's like the cutest little, best little tasting pancake I've ever had. All right, so presentation, aside from the uh, styrofoam plate, it looks <laughs> divine. It's not China. Right. right, it's not fine China, but hey. I say put it on the wonton. Put it on the chip, let's yeah. break this in half. Okay. Oh, it looks like a yeah. good sear, a ahi good tuni. And you take that bite. Tuni? Tuni. Ah, ahi tuni? Ahi, <laughs> tuna. The meat tastes good. It's really good tuna. The tuna tastes good. I'm getting a tuna flavor. The the chip adds a ton more crunch um, from just the sear, because the sear has a little crunch, but the chip adds more of a crunch so that, that I really like yeah. about that. The, uh, the flavor of the sauce is good. The presentation probably was right on. It's like a take on fish and chips, so. Hey, I like, I love fish and chips. The Kraken crisp jalapeno pork belly, wine infused quail egg, beet microgreens, and a Kraken black rum reduction. This sounds interesting. The presentation looks good. It looks very good there. Try the quail egg first. Can I grab just Yeah, just try the quail egg. Tell me what you think. Got a lot of sweetness to it. Very sweet. I'm not getting jalapeno. I don't taste any jalapeno at all. There's Did no... Did you get any, Sam, you get any jalapeno um, in that? No, I don't recall tasting any jalapeno, which I would have absolutely, because we all know that I'm a big sissy wall when it comes to <laughs> spicy things. I taste nothing, a jalapeno, so... I taste no spice, uh, no still... crisp jalapeno on the pork belly, but the pork belly, the, the well, meat is very tender. Hold on. Is it in the skin? It's just missing that jalapeno. Miss an jalapeno, but the, the wine, I taste the wine flavor of the quail the egg. Quail egg. Um, the beet microgreens. Did, I don't think they really added or took away from the taste, but it, it added, it, it made the presentation look nice. It, if I had my choice between that or the tuna that we just had, I'd pick the tuna, but microgreens are really healthy for you, so you should eat all your microgreens. <laughs> Sam Lucerini over here with B Local, she's laughing at me. This is like a drop biscuit in the south. Oh yeah, drop yeah. biscuit. That's what that, you call this a drop biscuit in the south. Ooh, that's got some spice to it. I like I that. <laughs> Sam's laying on the floor uh, already from the Are these spice. The same butters? Oh my gosh, that biscuit is divine. No, I think they're different butters. I mean, I guess it would make sense. If this is just looks like regular butter. I'm that's do got the jalapeno. that's yeah. That's the is that the jalapeno honey or whatever. Mm -hmm. mm. All right, I got some <clears throat> Oaxaca coffee. This is fantastic. Um, you want to taste it? Sure. That was neat. No, neat has had their coffee there. That is really good coffee. Her best. I like my coffee black. So oh, that's really good. No sweeteners oh, added or anything it's here. Not bitter. You got you a little, a little, mimosa. little spritzer mimosa yeah. this morning. Here, cheers. Cheers. Mm. Cheers. What is this called? That coffee is from Oaxaca, Mexico. O Oaxaca? Oaxaca. It's a state from Mexico down south. Okay. Southern. Do y'all bring the beans up here? We are working with uh, local, not local, but uh, an importer that is uh, working with all these different communities. And so we, when we source coffees, we source from people that have a uh, I guess a commitment to how they're gonna do a difference between the process that they're doing, exporting the coffee and all that stuff. Okay, yes. cool. Tell these people out here, where where can they find you? Where's es Esperanza Coffee Roasters? Esperanza Coffee Roasters is located downtown Wichita in the coffee shop Las Adelitas Cafe. Uh, you can find these coffees there as well and other different options. 
All right, yeah. cool. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Check it out, because this Mexican coffee is really good. It's a breakfast croissant sandwich with spinach and egg. I'm gonna let you try this one, because I do not need that croissant. Not homemade. It needs some butter. It needs some butter. It needs some more flavor. It needs heat. And it needs heat, yeah. It's like chocolate icing mousse. That's really good. Man, I'm so I'm so glad that I'm here just because now I know about Esperanza coffee. I think it's a breakfast quesadilla. Breakfast quesadilla. Here, I'll take a bite. Wichita by EB says we should uh, Lady in the Tramp it. You want to? Oh no, that's yes. ridiculous. Yes. Let's do it. Let's that's do it. Oh my gosh, okay. That's totally Lady in the Tramp it. Love local. How about that? <laughs> I'm gonna get Fruit Foodie. Fruit Foodie, I do next. Okay. I taste that. Parm I taste that sauce. Right now. See, that's funny because I tasted that Parmesan cheese first, first. and then I got a taste of the quesadilla like, or the tortilla, and then I got the sauces after that. Yeah. So that's really good. I can't. Really good. I can't taste what's in I the tortilla either. though. I want to say there's hash browns in there. The sauces kind of overtake what, what's in there. What's inside? It looks like... It looks like egg. Looks like egg. I don't know, that is tasty though. It's tasty. Cinnamon roll. Cinnamon roll. Yeah, it looks so good. Look, presentation, nice. Roxy's. It's Roxy's on the river. This is so good. I don't watch videos now, if you were a cinnamon roll connoisseur, such as myself, you know that the center of a cinnamon roll is where it's at. That's right. Brisket, looks like brisket nachos. <laughs> that is good. That is good. That meat is perfect. The chip add a great chips are crunch to it. Homemade chips, I'm assuming. Yeah, homemade chips are pretty thick, but they still got a crunch to them. That, that is, is so really good. good. That was really good. I could keep eating that. Yeah. I like want to keep eating that. It's that, really it's that good. But I can't. Or I'll throw up and then I'll have to start over again. Looks like almonds. Almond uh, croissant. Powdered sugar, croissant. What's that, what's that sweetness in the middle? Almond. Yeah, that, that's why I can't figure out. It's like a, it's like a layer, of, layer chocolate. of chocolate sweetness in the middle at, at the, the bottom. bottom. Presentation okay, but taste is right on. Creativity to hide that little sweetness in there. That was on par. There's only one, so I guess I got to eat it. Do it. That pepper's not that hot. It's got the slow creep burn though. Oh, that's really good. Alright, I know what corn tortillas taste like, so I'm just gonna hit up oh, that's the smart. meat. That's good, it's got really good flavor. Oh, that pepper was hot. All right, that pepper was no joke, but uh, El Pastor was good. I think that Pastor is very oh God, good. This is an everything bagel topped with cinnamon, salmon. Ooh, edible flowers. That's what that is. It's an edible flower. What's, is that white stuff, uh, like egg white or cheese or what? I, I think that's going to be... Um, Looks like egg white. Nope. Oh, you got a flower in that too. Sour cream. That tastes like sour cream. Okay. All right, here we go. You want to take a bite first? Yeah. As I drink my Esperanza coffee. Looks good. The flavors blend really well. That bagel is crunchy. That bagel is very crunchy. I like a softer bagel, so not crazy about how hard it was, but the flavors are there. The flavors are good. Presentation was beautiful. 
Mm -hmm. those edible flowers. I'd probably go five on a presentation. It was beautiful. You still see, still see a little bit of it here. Yeah, it's just, it's just toasted a little too much. This one's All gonna right. be a bit spicy. This one's gonna be, yeah. Spicy, it still looks crunchy. Here we go. I'm ready for it this time though. Yeah. Now that I was looking for the crunch, it's like a bagel chip. Mm -hmm. More than like a soft breakfasty bagel that you would that you would think of, right? Mm -hmm. So as a bagel chip, this works really well. The flavors are all there. The guacamole comes through. The spice. Oh, it just hit me. The spice yeah. is really taking center stage now off of this, but presentation was perfect. We got an apple pie waffle and a churro waffle. Here we go. I'm going churro. Oh my God. Oh my God, that was That's good. I, I, I do taste the churro yeah. flavor, but it's definitely more of a waffle than it is a churro. Not a lot of cinnamon and sugar that you expect from a churro, but the flavor's there. Yeah. So, good. It's very, it's very soft in the middle, like a waffle. Yeah, soft in the middle, crunchy on the outside. It's good. So here is the apple pie waffle that's pretty good it's got apple stuff on top with granola um, yeah that's really good all right here we go we, we quartered this up because we're getting full <laughs> with uh, Sam from Be Local Eddie Wichita by EB it looks delicious it's got brisket egg on a like on a bun. On a bun. Oh, just a big bite. It's like a good, good gravy. Oh yeah. It's so heavy though. Yeah. It tastes like a. Oh, it tastes like a biscuits and gravy. Yeah, with like, with egg and brisket. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay. Looks like a. Steak, quesadilla, sour cream, guacamole sauce on top. Pour a little of this heat. I stand corrected. Viria quesadilla, man, that's really good. I sit corrected, but you know. I sit corrected. All right, Sam. Sam would be local, Troy would live local. Sam. Tell me, what did you think about all that? Uh, it was amazing, and I am super happy and extremely full. It was yeah. it was a treat to be able to taste so many amazing varieties of food. Nothing was a repeat, although the only thing that was kind of a repeat were a lot of little quail eggs. So That's never true. had a quail egg before today. That's true. There were a lot of quail eggs on different recipes, but man, all in all, this was a great experience. It was amazing. If you missed it this year, brun brunch fest next year, you need to come check it out. And be sure you participate and support Festive ICT for everything that they're doing in our city. For those of you Absolutely. that say there's nothing to do, you need to get out of your house. There's a plenty to do. That's right, plenty to do in Wichita.